Good morning, everybody. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, probably the first thing is disclosure. Uh, we, our caregivers and parents, do not uh, tell us about our HIV status, leading to us uh, asking so many questions why we are taking the ARVs, leading to non adherence. I think uh, lack of information is another issue. Oh, uh, like in my case, I might not be told at the hospital or, at, or like at home how the ARV works and their role in my body. So I just, it leads to non adherence. Uh, for adherence, uh, I think peer pressure. I'm 17 years old boy. I get mingled with my friends. Uh, we go partying. Then at the last, uh, I miss my dosage because I'll be having fun. So I think peer pressure, being, uh, I like to be like my friends. Uh, this leads me to poor adherence. The other challenge is that uh, within our families there is lack of support uh, so that so we need uh, we need support from the family and we also need them to help us taking our medication and also goes, goes, go with us to the refuse as well. Sometimes as teenagers uh, because of lack of support sometimes we feel that we are, we become bored of taking our ARVs and we become reluctant and because our health is well so then we tend not to take our ARVs and leading to us not adhering well to our medication. Yeah, I have to hide uh, my drugs because maybe I didn't disclose to my friends either we are with the school, especially in boarding schools. I have to hide them. If uh, they notice that I'm taking my ARVs, they start neglecting and also name, name me, name, give me names as well as labeling. So I have to defend myself. For example, of myself, um, only people who only know my, my status are only my biological parents. And, and then the the rest of my relatives doesn't know about my status. So uh, every time when they they came at our house, uh, I tell the women to hide my medication in order to to hide my my status or, or even to 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 keep on my existential disclosure. Uh, in churches, particularly when you go to churches, pastor always says HIV is a demon. And of course, the pastors always like uh, praying and healing the disease. And because we fear to be subjected within the church, we then say we are healed from HIV. And of course, when we get back home, we no longer take our ARVs. Uh, like uh, I will be living with uh, with my biological parents, and they 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 passed away, and then I I, I always change houses uh, from there and there. So by that I will I will be not wanting to disclose my status to any other relatives. So I will be hiding my medication or even not to take the medication. Either. As you see, I'm looking great. I started my medication in 2007. Up to now, I'm still taking my my medication correctly and consistently. So I am keep taking my medication and I'm healthy and I'm strong. Nothing can stop me. I've been uh, going to support group, uh, seeing other peers, or discussing the importance of uh, taking medication so that I'm now empowered about that so I can take my medication. As for me, I'm healthy, I'm beautiful. I started taking my ARVs in 2005 uh, and I'm still on first line. I want to achieve what I want in my life. I have to take my medication properly so that I can I can protect my baby. I want to be I I want to have a, a, a negative baby and also to protect my, 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 my partner. As for me, sometimes I get spoiled uh, by taking medication. But with my peers, I, they encourage me to take my medication. And they also they, they, we also discuss about the importance of adherence and the disadvantages of not taking, adher of not taking my medication. So at the end, I will take my medication. 
Uh, as adolescents, we need uh, some tools which are very friendly to us and also well explained uh, themselves about HIV and how ARV can work so that we can understand much. Uh, this will be used by doctors, nurses, counsellors and other people who work with adolescents to support adherence. We can use uh, pill box for us to, to help ourselves to adhere to our medication, uh, pick our, our drugs for, for, for the whole week, so it also it, it helpful for us. And we also use uh, drug charts uh, where we, 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 we tick when we take our morning tablet and we also tick at the evening when we take our evening tablet. It also helps us as adolescents. Yeah, and also um, us as, a, as peers uh, to visit each other and also to, um, to help each other whereby to, to helping each other to, to take care of their medication and also to discuss more about uh, adherence, the importance of taking adherence and the dangers of not, not, uh, taking, not taking our uh, uh, medication. Okay, CATS, uh, it's an abbreviation for Community Adolescent Treatment Supporters and it's a team of adolescents living with HIV and we are trained counsellors uh, working within uh, in our different communities, doing home visits for other peers, monitoring adherence, is well offering counselling on issues to do with adherence, abuse, be it stigma, on issues that uh, children and teenagers are facing. I think it will be more helpful if there are more opportunities where adolescents living with HIV who are able to talk freely and sharing their own personal experience so that the doctors, nurses, counsellors and other people working in the health facility get the and families as well get the impact of how adolescents need to be supported on adherence issues. My message to them would be I have been having nine years of taking my Aerovin since 2004 till to date. And till then, taking my Aerovin, I have been having lots of challenges, issues to do with stigma, shifting household. But because of different support systems around the world, around where we stay in our communities, we can be able to go on with our life and adhere to our medication. And with, with support, we can always stand. And my message to you guys out there is, like, HIV is just a virus in me. I am the big, big, bigger picture, and I can, I can face tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.